What about if your f- friends are sinners? Maybe we were part of that group and now we want to make changes. That's much more difficult. For example, there's a woman, she wants to now become more practicing. However, she has to go to her husband's, the in-law's family once a week, every two weeks. And they also drink. They also drink. This is a real question. So now, you've just become practicing. So how does one now deal with this? And I want to mention a few things here. So, this question was actually asked to to a female scholar, to an alima, and she didn't know how to answer it, so she asked me the question. So there's a few things here. They want to be practicing, but they feel the pressure of the family that I have to go with my husband. My husband, she's saying, is isn't as enthusiastic. He also wants to make changes because of the children and so on. We know that the future is this in Islam and practice of Islam. But this is the background we've come from. But I want to go quicker and he wants to go slower. And then the point is that it's their in-laws and then they drink. So what can I do? So well, you should really abstain. But what else can you do? So I said, well, maybe what you can do is you can go there to visit and then leave. But no, it seems to be where it's a bit of a distance away, so they have to go and stay there for the weekend, for example. So I said, okay, that's fine. Then you could do two things. You could be very upfront with them and say, look, we are ha- we here. I'd like to be with you, to meet you, to visit you. But I can't be part of the drinking because it's haram. Because when I said that, why don't you say it's wrong? They said that they say that you're being judgmental. Allahu Akbar. And that's what I want to focus on for a bit. This has become like a, almost like a, a shield or a defense from anybody wanting to change. Like you're being judgmental. To say that a sin is a sin is being judgmental. That's not being judgmental. Judgmental is maybe when I say that you're going to hell. You're a really bad person inside. That might be a judgmental statement because I'm judging you without any evidence. When I call a sin a sin, that look, drinking is a sin, alcohol is a sin. That's not judgmental. That's just a straightforward fact. I'm just saying alcohol is wrong, zina is wrong, uncovering is wrong, eating haram is wrong. I'm just making that. Now, how is that judgmental? What am I trying to say by that that makes it judgmental? This has become a defense. This is almost like a knee-jerk reaction statement to shut people down so that you can't, you can't do amr bil ma'ruf and nahi munkar. Hey, don't be judgmental. I'm not being judgmental. I'm just making a statement of fact. If we can't even say wrong is wrong, call black as black, then what's, what's judgmental? There's no judgment here. There's no two ways about this. I'm not saying you're condemned to hellfire. If I say that anybody who drinks is sinful, that's not judgmental. They are sinful, but Allah could forgive them. I don't want to make that judgment. I don't want to make the judgment that you're definitely going to be punished because Allah could forgive. I know that. That's, our, that's actually our belief. That's our theology. Right? That's what sets the Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah apart from all of the other extremist groups. The one group which said that if you commit a major sin, you are not a believer anymore. You lie, you're not a believer anymore. You've committed zina, you're not a believer anymore. They say you're not a kafir either, but you're not a believer either. So you're not going to go to paradise ever. You'll be in a special place in hellfire. That was the Mu'tazilites who said that. And then there was another group that went more extreme and said that you're actually a kafir by even sins. Not just by doing kufr. You're not doing kufr. You believe in Allah, but you've done a sin, a major sin, and thus you're kafir. So they would say that anybody who doesn't wear hijab is a kafir. Anybody who misses a, who, who doesn't pray is a kafir. But Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah said, look, belief is something, actions are something else. So we don't make that judgment. But to call a sin a sin is not a judgment. That's a clear cut fact. So whenever next time somebody says, hey, don't be judgmental or, you know, you need to set the record right that this has just become a shaitani defense. To be honest, it's just become a shaitani defense. It's just like, let me do what I want to do. Well, do what you want to do, but I can call a sin a sin, right? I can't tell you because, you know, you could go to paradise, I could end up in hellfire. Because tomorrow, it's really what happens on our deathbed. 
That's really what matters. So I completely understand what being judgmental is. I never want to be judgmental because you can't be. I'm scared to be judgmental, to be honest.